Good evening. Well, we start with that breaking news. And in the last few minutes, it has been confirmed that Manchester United's Premier League game with Liverpool has been postponed. That's after fans broke into Old Trafford to protest against the club's owners. It had been due to kick off at half past four this afternoon, but now it will not take place. Earlier, supporters gathered to demonstrate outside the stadium, calling for the Glazer family to step down, following the club's failed attempt to join the controversial European Super League. Several hundred fans broke down the barriers, entered the stadium, and as you can see there, they ran onto the pitch with some even climbing the goalposts. Well, Sky's Fraser Maud is live outside the Manchester United team hotel in Manchester. And Fraser, that news in the last few minutes that the match has indeed been postponed. That's right. It's news that we were perhaps expecting and have been expecting for the past couple of hours. We knew that it had been delayed uh, because of the incidents, obviously, at Old Trafford and because of protests that happened here at the team hotel uh, in Manchester as well. But uh, finally, confirmation coming through uh, that the game has now been postponed. We've got a statement here from the Premier League, which says, following the security breach at Old Trafford, the Manchester United versus Liverpool game has been postponed. This is a collective decision from the police, both clubs, the Premier League and local authorities. It goes on to say the security and safety of everyone at Old Trafford remains of paramount importance. We understand and respect the strength of feeling but condemn all acts of violence, criminal damage and trespass, especially given the associated COVID-19 breaches. Fans have many channels by which to make their views known, it says, but the actions of a minority seen today have no justification. We sympathise with the police and stewards who had to deal with a dangerous situation that should have no place in football. The rearrangement of the fixture will be communicated in due course. And we knew that it was going to be a safety issue. We knew that there were potential COVID-19 breaches once fans had managed to get inside the Old Trafford Stadium. Although we had initially been told by uh, the sources at the Premier League that because they hadn't got into the dressing rooms that there had been no breaching of the COVID-19 biosecurity bubble and that potentially uh, COVID restrictions had still been met and the game could potentially have still gone ahead. However, the security concerns have been uh, the main issue, of course. Uh, they can't guarantee the safety of fans, stewards uh, and the players or staff at uh, Old Trafford and so uh, the game has been postponed. Many of the fans wanted a postponement. They wanted to get their message across and that this is surely the strongest way to get that message across. A lot of the fans, though, don't agree with what happened inside the stadium. I was talking to some supporters here at uh, uh, outside the team hotel who were protesting earlier and they said that they thought that that was going too far and that that was showing the protest in a bad light by actually forcing entry to the stadium, getting on the pitch and potentially causing criminal damage. In terms of any arrests that have been made, not sure what's happened at Old Trafford in terms of arrests. I've seen one arrest being made here just in the last half hour or so. There's a small pocket of about 100 or so fans uh, who, uh, who've been here throughout the afternoon. They were uh, on a road, one of the exit roads here from the Lowry Hotel. A big cheer from them went up when the news came through that the match had been postponed. They clearly uh, thought that their message had been heard and that they've had the biggest impact they could have had today in terms of the effect uh, on that match and the publicity that that will garner for their cause, which is, of course, to have the Glazers, uh, the American Glazer family removed from ownership of the club, something they've been campaigning for for many years now, but which has been brought into sharper focus uh, with the recent uh, attempted setting up of a, of a European Super League. The players themselves still inside the hotel here. I saw through one of the windows earlier a couple of the uh, a couple of the players looking out to see what was happening with a, a minor disturbance outside, which involved uh, police getting riot shields out, but uh, eventually not having to use them. Uh, there were some missiles thrown, but uh, that has now been calmed down. So the team coach are still here waiting to take the Manchester United players to their next destination. One would assume that that would be uh, to collect their cars or to wherever those vehicles have been left, maybe to the Manchester United training ground, maybe to Old Trafford itself once things have quietened down there. But, of course, the breaking news at the moment is that the, uh, the game that should have started at 4.30, that match between bitter rivals Manchester United and Liverpool, uh, will now not be taking place today at all. OK, Fraser, thank you.